Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's City Council meeting on this August 21st, 7 o'clock. I'll call the meeting to order. Thanks, Matt. Uh, first item on our agenda is our invocation, our Pledge of Allegiance. Tonight we have Pastor and Council Member Anthony Edwards to lead us in our invocation. And please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Father God, we come to you, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. We thank you, Lord, for another opportunity that we can come together as a city council and staff, Father, that we can come together and reason together. We pray, Father, that you be in the midst of us, Father, that as we make wise and sound decisions, Father, as we look for what's best for our community. For, Father, without you, we're nothing, but we thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in our lives, all that you're going to do, and the things that you're doing right now that we don't see nor do we realize or recognize that it is you. And we'll forever give you the praise, forever give you the glory, the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. You show me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Anthony, and thank you, Mr. Lavender. Uh, let the roll call show that all members are present except for one, and uh, I think she has an excused absence, so I'd entertain a motion to excuse Lisa. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Roll call show that Lisa's excused. The rest of us are here. So noted. Minutes, item C. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the uh, approval of the council regular meeting, meeting, meeting minutes of August 7th. Uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission regular meeting minutes of July 6th. The Arts and Humanities Commission regular meeting minutes of July 11th. The Fire Personnel Retirement Board regular meeting minutes of January 25th. The Pol Police Personnel Retirement Board regular meeting minutes of May 10th. And the Historical Person... Preservation Commission meeting minutes of April 28th. 23rd. 23rd? Yes, 23rd. Excuse me. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Minutes are approved as presented. Claims against the city. Item D. Mayor McFarland. <coughs> Second. All right, a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, the claims are approved. Uh, next is item E, which is our meeting agenda approval. Is there, is there any changes to the agenda, Mr. Raines? We have no changes, Mr. Mayor. Anyone on council want to change anything? All right, seeing none, then I will entertain a motion to approve the agenda as presented. All right, a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, the agenda is approved as presented. We have no special presentation tonight. Consent agenda items. All items listed with an asterisk are considered routine matters and will be enacted by one motion, one roll call vote with the council. There'll be no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or member of the public so requests, in which event the item will be pulled from the consent agenda and considered in the normal sequence of the agenda. So, is there anyone who would like to pull anything off the consent agenda? Anyone from the public? Okay, seeing none, then I'll entertain a motion to approve. Mayor McFarland, I would move to approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. I right, have a motion and a second. Gloria, can I please get a roll call vote? Council Member Edwards. Yes. Council Member Huddleston. Yes. Council Member McBride? Yes. Council Member Herman? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Lavender? Yes. Mayor McFarland? Yes. All right, next is item H. This is our public comments. This is an opportunity for anyone in the public who would like to speak to the council to please approach the podium and uh, we'll, you'll get, we'll give you three minutes to uh, address the council. Please state your name and your address for the records, 
And remember, it's not an agenda item, so we can't speak about it. But we can listen. Anyone? All right, seeing no one jump up, then I'm gonna close the public comments and we'll move to I-1, Award of Contracts, Public Works. Thank you. Staff recommends the mayor and city council authorize the city manager to execute a construction services contract between the city of Casa Grande and American Road Maintenance Incorporated for the amount not to exceed $199,432. Of the project budget authority to provide construction services on runway 0523 and connector tra taxiways rehabilitation project. Staff also re requests authorization to execute contract documents, disperse funds, and perform necessary budget transfers. City Council authorized staff to apply for and received an ADOT aeronautics grant to complete a pavement rehabilitation project and authorize the total budget not to exceed $725,000 through resolution number 5299. Staff has accepted the reimbursable grant, completed design and bidding with CNS engineers through resolution 5388 and we are ready to move into construction phase of the project. The city of Casa Grande solicited a bid for construction services and received three bids on February 23rd. Based on our review of the bid documents, it was recommended by our consultant and approved by ADOT to award the construction services contract to American Road Maintenance of Tucson, Arizona. American Road Maintenance will complete the construction portion of the runway and connector taxiway. The project consists of constructing a surface treatment for the runway and its connector taxiways. Additionally, CNS Engineers has been awarded a contract through resolution 5389 to provide construction administration services, including construction management on this project. City of Casa Grande accepted a reimbursable grant for the total project cost of $725,000, which is 100% ADOT funded. There is no match for the the apportionment to the city and the administration of this project. With that, is there any questions? Any questions from the council? No. All right, thank you, Dwayne. All right, seeing no questions, then I will call for an ordinance number, please, Gloria. Ordinance number 3387, an ordinance of the council of the city of Casa Grande, Arizona, accepting a bid from American Road Maintenance, Inc. for the construction of runway 05-23 and the connector taxiway rehabilitation project for the city, for the Casa Grande Municipal Airport, authorizing expenditure of public funds, authorizing the, expendi authorizing the execution of a contract, and authorizing the transfer of budget authority. <coughs> Mayor McFarland, I move approval of ordinance number 3387 as presented. Second. I right, have a motion and a second. Lawyer, can I please get a roll call vote? Council Member Edwards. Yes. Council Member Huddleston. Yes. Council Member McBride. Yes. Council Member Herman. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Lavender. Yes. Mayor McFarland. Yes. All right, next item is I-2. You don't want to go outside right now anyway. <laughs> um, this is a considering resolution number 5564. Chief? Uh, good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council, how are you guys doing? Uh, I'm here to talk to you about doing an amendment to our current Image Trend contract that we already have. For, for reference, Image Trend is the software program that's on our electronic tablets that we use for in the field for typing in all the information on a medical call. We're going to be amending that contract and adding a module. The module that we're adding is billing software. It's to provide the billing for the CON program. Um, I'm not asking you for any funds or money. There's no money to be expended on this. They're going to add the module. And what happens uh, on this initially is we'll pay a flat fee on the 
only on the bills that are collected. So for example, if they don't collect anything, we don't pay. Um, we'll, pay we'll pay them $25 on collected bills, bills that they actually collect money on. Um, it's really just a simple software change and um, it'll be pretty, um, you, won't, you won't even notice, there won't be really any difference and we don't have to do anything. Over the next six to eight weeks, we've already prepared and got it all ready. It takes about six weeks for them to finalize and turn it on. So um, this is all in preparation for the CON. With that, the, the ambulance CON. The ambulance CON, okay. yes, sir. With that, do you guys have any questions for me? Is that pretty normal, Chief? It depends. It, it depends on the jurisdiction. Some jurisdictions bring it in-house and have their own finance department do it. Um, it's, it's pretty specialized, um, and you tend to do better and collect at a higher rate if you have a experts doing it and the, they're experts okay. at doing it and we we actually went and visited with numerous agencies in the valley and down south that are using it and they've been very happy with them and we've been very happy with them as well um, with the program on our epcr tablet so it was kind of a natural progression for us okay anybody have any questions all right seeing none thank you chief seeing none i'll call for a resolution number please go ahead Resolution number 5564, a resolution of the Council of the City of Casa Grande, Arizona, approving amendment number one to the city's contract with Image Trend Inc. for software licensing services, authorizing expenditure of public funds, and authorizing execution of an amendment to the contract with Image Trend Inc. Mayor McFarland moves to approve resolution number 5564 as presented. Second. All right, I have a motion and a second. Gloria, can I please get a roll call vote? Council Member Edwards. Yes. Council Member Huddleston. Yes. Council Member McBride. Yes. Council Member Herman. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Lavender. Yes. Mayor McFarland. Yes. All right, that is pretty much it other than uh, reports. So we'll, we'll move to item M, or excuse me, N for reports and Bob. No report, Mayor. All right, Mr. Lavender. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir, just a reminder on September 9th is the day of service uh, that the community group is working on. There was an article, uh, I think it was last week in the newspaper about, uh, oh, you have it. are you gonna talk about it, sir? No, nope, I'm handing it to you. Uh, uh, cleaning out at uh, CG Mountain from 7 to 11 o'clock, so we hope to see as many people as possible out there. Chief Keene, I also want to congratulate you on your leadership and your success in the courtroom on the ambulance CON. Yeah, you have excellent. Tremendous leadership there and a vision for, and it's going to really benefit our community, so congratulations, Chief. And also, uh, Cusk Grand Union is excited that on September 7th and 8th, Rudy Rudiker, who is the famed Notre Dame football player that they uh, did the movie Rudy after will be in town uh, speaking to students, talking to our football team, and then we'll be hosting a special uh, meet and greet for him the morning of September 8th at 7.30. And Larry, I'll be sending an invitation to you to send out the city staff or anybody that likes to come out on that morning and meet Rudy. And so we're excited to have him in town. Great. Thank you, Jeff. Matt? Um, speaking of the day of service, the Youth Commission, we had our meeting on Saturday, and they're going to be parking cars at 5.45 a.m. So they're excited about meeting early at the mountain on Saturday. <laughs> I'll bet they are. <laughs> <laughs> I may have had to bribe them with burritos or something, but they'll be there. Donna? Uh, just so we have the CAC, we have a fly-in at the and breakfast out at the airport. airport Saturday, so everybody come out and enjoy that. That's it. And our show, too, right? Our show, too. Yeah. Go ahead, Anthony. I'm good. You're good? You guys are easy. Um, just a, a quick reminder, uh, the Mayor's Reading Club, we're looking for volunteers, so please sign up now. Uh, you can go to casagrandeaz.gov forward slash library and you can sign up for the program. We, we need as many readers as we possibly can. And then just a kind of a quick update on single family.
building permits. The city of Casa Grande in July issued 84 building permits. So it's been really consistent really since February, uh, 65, 61, 76, 85, 74, 84. So um, come back fairly consistent. And um, so some, some good numbers in, in that area. And I think that's all I've got. So, oh, well, the bookmobile was in the paper. Thank you, Jody. It was a nice article in the paper about the bookmobile and our library. Uh, new addition to the city. It's uh, <clears throat> it still needs some books uh, and some uh, so some things to fill it up. But uh, you should start to see that out at some special events. We're going to show it off at a couple things. Our safety event, and uh, you'll get a chance to look inside. It's pretty cool. It's it's probably saved the city one hundred twenty thousand dollars on a on a bus we bought it used but it's uh but it's in beautiful shape so anything else for anybody all right well thank you everybody thanks for all being here don't get too wet out there i don't know if i stalled long enough to keep you dry but good night meeting adjourned 17. Hey. 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 Hey.